a station, a refrigerator, a dog, his bed, and his mother. The wife brought a radio, a couch, a computer, refrigerator, cat, bed, and her father. Notice that the husband brought seven items and the wife brought seven items. The union is the list that you see here. The TV, the couch, the PlayStation, the refrigerator, the dog, the bed, the mother, the radio, and now the wife's list, which is her couch, computer, refrigerator, cat, bed, father. And if you take a closer look, you'll see some redundancy. You'll see some items that were listed twice. The redundant items are the couch, the refrigerator, and a bed. These items were listed in both sets. They were listed by the husband and by the wife. Notice that there are really 11 items in the union because if we throw out the couch, the refrigerator, and the bed, what was duplicated, that reduces the 14 to 11. The intersection again is the couch, refrigerator, and bed. It is the three items. These three items were listed on both lists. Consider another example where both a husband and wife create a grocery list. They may have some of the same items or they may have all different items. In this example, the husband is requesting steak, potatoes, beer, water, oranges, pineapple, bread, and cereal. The wife has written down that she would like vegetables, water, milk, bread, fish, cereal, chicken, and tortillas. There are eight items on the husband's list. There are eight items on the wife's list. Altogether, however, some of the items were listed twice. They were redundant. The water was listed twice. The bread was listed twice. The cereal and the beer were both listed twice. These items were on both lists. These items are in the intersection. That reduces, if we throw out what was written down twice, if we throw it out once, the 16 items reduced to 12. That is, there are really 12 items in the union. Four items were in that intersection. The water, the bread, the cereal, and the beer. Consider a setting where both the husband and wife create a Christmas list. They may have some of the same friends on their list, or they may not. The husband wants to purchase a gift for Bob, Anne, Eddie, Larry, and Stefan, while the wife wants to purchase a gift for Melanie, David, Raheem, Dawit, and Richard. There are five items on the husband's list, and there are five items on the wife's list, for a total of ten items. We form the union by putting the two lists together. We have Bob, Ann, Eddie, Larry, Stefan, Melanie, David, Raheem, Dawit, and Richard. There are 10 people on this list. Note, notice that the intersection of these two lists is empty. There was no redundancy. The symbol for this situation, the empty set or the empty list, is what you see here. And if we count the number of items that are on the empty set or the empty list, we're going to find that there were zero items here. There is no intersection. The intersection is empty.
the addition rule for counting. The number of items that are in A or B is equal to counting the number of items in A with the number of items in B and throwing out what may be duplicated, the number of items that were in A and B, the intersection of two lists A and B. This is a Venn diagram. There are people that are in region A, people that are region B, and if we're going to determine how many people are in either A or B, we're going to have to start by counting all of the people that are in A. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 11 people that are in A. Now let's count everybody that's in B. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 people that are in region B. If you notice there was a problem, some people were counted twice. The people that are in region A and B, the intersection of A and B, the region that overlaps, were counted twice. And there are three people who are in that region. So if we throw them out once, since we already counted them once, we'll discover that 11 plus 10 minus 3 is 18, and that there are 18 people that are in either A or B. What does this have to do with probability? From algebra, if we take the addition rule for counting and we divide both sides by n of s, line 2 has n of s dividing each term, n of a, n of b, and n of a and b. If you take a closer look, n of a divided by n of s is defined to be the probability of a. n of b divided by n of s is the probability of b. n of a and b divided by n of s is the probability of a and b. This is known as the addition rule for probability. The probability of a or b is the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of a and b. This is used to answer probability questions that involve the word or. For example, if you pick a marble from a bag of marbles, what's the probability of picking a question one, red and blue marble, question two, red or blue marble? bag of marbles. The probability of selecting a marble that is both red and blue at the same time is zero. That means that the event of picking a red and blue marble is impossible. Okay? There are no marbles in the bag that are both red and blue at the same time. 